Hey guys, Tail Among Us has here, coming on you with another Splinter Cell walkthrough. And today we're going to be walking through Mission 5, which is CIA HQ. Now, here we go. Now, so as you guys know, in, th in this mission you're not allowed to kill any of the guards. Yeah, as you could hear from Lambert here. Anyways, first we're gonna crouch run across this um, road thing. And no worries, the, the guys over there aren't gonna see you. And then once you get... Well, actually it might have been better to stand run, but then once you get closer, crouch run. Then once you get even closer, start to move more slowly. Now, the thing is, if you go in through the vent, you're actually, it's actually the worst path to take because you're going to have to go through a few extra rooms. So instead, just sneak by over here and climb up the pole. Fortunately, it's pretty dark around here, so you don't have to worry about those guys seeing you. Guess what, guys? I'm Islamic. Yeah, and then you can just listen in on their conversation. But yeah, once you get in here, and then open this hatch, and boom, you're right already inside this room with the benches. So yeah, always go through this path. And then there's going to be three guards around here. There's one walking back and forth. There's one behind the counter, and then there's one inside the little room in the door behind the counter and yeah you're gonna stay on this benches because it's dark enough and then gonna sneak over to this side and yeah make sure the other guards not too close and watching grab him bring him over to this dark corner right here take him out and then yeah you might you might want to wait for this guy to turn back around and start going the other direction again alright so now you're gonna go peek under this door okay no one's looking right now so turn the light hey, off turn the lights back on. and then Sneak up behind this guy. He's gonna go up to the light switch. He might turn around first, which he did. So then now get behind him, take him out. Turn off the light and then carry his body a little far away from the door. And yeah, right now the guard that's a little far away has noticed you turned the light off so he's actually going to start walking here and, and he's going to notice the unconscious body and then wake it up but then those two guys are just going to come in here and try to turn the light on so then you can sneak up behind them and yeah they, they do come in at only one at a time because that's how the light switching in this game works Yeah, turn the light off again, take this body. Hey, turn the lights back on. Now the reason we want to take out all three guards is because so we can get to that other room across the hall. Because it has some extra sticky shocks and ring foil air rounds. So yeah, this guy and then sneak up on him. Do the same thing. Bring him into a dark corner. And then go back and turn the light off. Yep, and then now you can go through this door. And then now we're gonna enter this little room right here. There's a med kit 
and some sticky shockers and ring airfoil. Okay, now we go back out the store. We're gonna crouch in here and then we're gonna slow down once we get closer. Sneak up behind this guy who's on his phone. Grab him. Bring him a little closer to that other guard. For him to notice. Yeah, knock this guy out so now that the guard will be dis distracted looking at the body. So that you can make a run to the el elevator. Well, you can use the soda can to One of our people has been attacked. And then immediately go down and then press yourself against the wall. You can't hide. Yeah, you're, you're almost certainly gonna get seen in here. But if you're quick enough, you can go in the elevator and move down quickly enough so that he can't come in here to get you. So now we've made it. Now, stay in this dark place, move slowly. Now, after that guy goes into that room and then the door closes, you're gonna go into this other room. And then, use this computer, you'll get a code for one of the doors. One note added from data stick. And it was the code to the main server room. So now you're gonna go to the left side, and make sure that the other guard's not here. So now you're gonna crouch run. And then once you get in here, slow back down, turn the light off. Hey, turn the lights back on! And then hide behind this chair. And yeah, when you're sneaking up on guards, it's best to move at the second slowest speed. And again, he might turn around before he turns the light on. And yeah, take the satchel, turn the light off. So now a civilian's gonna come in here. It'll take him a while to get all the way over here though. So, you can open this door which needs to use the lockpick. This door is pretty quick to unlock though, so no need to use the disposable pick. Hide the body in here. And then you can take the med kit and these two sticky shockers. Go back out and then just stay right over here because when the civilian and the guard come in they're, they're gonna walk around a little first and then they're gonna turn the light on okay guess not this time we almost got seen and this time the guard's gonna come in Yeah, usually these guys are gonna walk in, in the pattern something like this before going to the light switch. So that's why it's best to stay right around here. Don't let them get too close to you. Now you don't necessarily have to hide the body inside the closet. It just has to be in a place dark enough. Okay, seems like this guy isn't... Yeah, so the thing about this game is you're not going to get the same outcome and chances every time. But either way, this strategy still worked effectively. So yeah, now there's no one left. Except maybe the civilian that you saw earlier who went printing. But he's most likely just going to still be in that room. Now after you get past here, there's this little room, it has a guard in it. Now you can uh, wait for him to come over this way and then turn back around and start walking to the window again. Stay hidden, because first thing you're going to do is turn off that light. 
Yeah, slowly walk up to the light. Turn it off. Who did that? And then sneak behind him when he gets to the light. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna turn around. Huh. Seems not this time. Switch. And then in here, there's a disposable pick. And then now the satchel that this guy had gave you the code 7687 which is for this door 7687 open the door turn the light off Hello? now the civilian is going to walk to the light switch and again he might turn around first so yeah don't get on him too quickly before you turn the light off again hide the body and yeah stay crouched so that the guard doesn't hear you turn the light off again Hello? and now the guards gonna come check it out now this guard is probably gonna walk around more than the civilian but either way, he still heads to the light. And now we've successfully taken out everyone in this room. And over here, there's a med kit. And the computer. And it gave you the code for this next door. The battery power room, which by the way is the hardest room not to get caught in, in this level. So you're actually going to have to try to knock out the two civilians as quickly as possible. Because you're definitely going to be seen. So hide in here in the dark spot. Run after this guy. And then now if he was to turn the alarm on, what you're going to do is turn off this light and then take the body, hide it a little far away so that the guard that comes in here doesn't see the body and wake it up. Uh, that guard only spawns if the alarm is triggered though. But yeah, if that guard was to come in here, you'd do all of that and then he comes to this light switch which he does if he sees that this room is dark and then you can sneak up behind him and whack him yeah that the light switch trick has been by far the most effective method in this level as well as one of the most effective methods in the entire game but yeah over here there's this SC-20K which is the rifle and then there, there was a few ammunitions, a sticky camera, a sticky shocker, and ring airfoil around. And then here you're gonna sneak up on this next yeah, guy who's talking on his phone. You know anybody who Don't be hurt? too slow though or else his phone call will end. Yeah, now grab him, take him to a dark corner, and wha-bam. Now go in here, take the med kit, and you're gonna also want to take a soda can. Now moving around each corner, make sure there's no guards watching. Pressure. There's a guard right yes, here. You can uh, lure him. No. You can use a sticky camera to knock people out. So that's what we're going to be using, especially since the sticky camera can be picked right back up. So it's renewable. Because we're, we're going to want... Now there's two guards around here with, plus a few civilians. We're not worried about the civilians though. We just need the guards to come around here and then we'll take them out with the sticky camera. Okay, we've taken one of them out. There's still that other guard over there though. He's not going to be as big of a threat we could 
most likely just sneak around him. But just to be fully safe, we're gonna pursue after him. And then we're gonna hide right in here. Or better yet, here. Wait for him to come back around this way and then we're gonna knock him up preferably with the sticky camera again. And yeah, I usually just don't go into that room at all. There's civilians there and they might sound the alarm. So yeah, just stay out of that room. And then take out these guards. Alright. Sticky camera and then again we're gonna wanna hide their bodies. Alright, now we're gonna go into the main server room. And then the code we saw before, 2019. And we're gonna enter the right side. 2019, and then open the door. Now, there's gonna be two civilians inside. Both this room and the uh, other room. And we're really gonna have to not alert any of them. Because if they pull the alarm, two civil, two uh, guards are gonna come in here. They're, they're gonna surround the exit door, and then you'd be trapped inside this room. So yeah, stay in the dark spot. Don't make too much noise. Yeah, I've made sure that there weren't any of those guys in here. Yeah, not the ideal place to land though, it'd be better if you landed closer to the exit door. So we might have to take out a few lights. One of the guards is going to be stuck just... Yeah, sometimes when you use the sticky camera, it'll actually disappear. Seems to be a thing when you use it on a civilian. We still have plenty of ammo though, ring airfoil and sticky shocker, so there's no need to worry. This other guard is, well, civilian is just gonna be stuck here, crouching the whole time so you can sneak behind him, grab him, take him to the dark room. But yeah, anyways, the only place you can exit really is out through that door which if the alarm was to be sounded there'd be a guard just sitting there and staring at that door with his gun pointed so yeah it's very good we didn't get seen at all now you're gonna go to the computer use it all right Lambert all right now you're gonna go into this room and go upstairs so as to exit. Okay. Uh, in these restrooms, well, there's going to be a med kit in one of. Ah, uh, here it is. Med kit here. There's going to be some soda cans right over here. So let's chuck events, one over there right now. Because there's a guard right here, we're, we're gonna want to get his attention, so... Well, the other soda can rolled below. 
But yeah, now that he's walked out, I'm gonna trail behind him. And now take this light out, open this door, hide in this corner. Select the ring airfoil around in case we need to take him out. And you're gonna most likely What the Yeah, make sure he's not coming back this way. Move across the wall. Don't go in here. Now you're gonna take out these three lights on this row. And yeah, there's a guard that over there on the stairs. This time he's coming down, so we, we might have to take him out. How did that happen? Well, there's too many cameras around here, so and they're all indestructible, so we might have to use the sticky shocker on him. If he gets too close. Or it seems he's going there instead. We're going to try to save our ammo. Pesky civilians always pulling alarms. This operation is based around stone. Well, but anyways, this guard spawns. any med kits that you need. But yeah, typically it's not a good idea to take this guy out when he's all the way over here because there was this civilian right here. And yeah, the civilian pulls the alarm. Then you're gonna wanna hide all the bodies again. Yeah. Otherwise, usually you just go to the civilian slowly, get up to him, and then just whack him. But now there aren't any other people around here, so we can safely proceed after we hide all these bodies. And then there's going to be a camera to your left down these stairs. And it's indestructible, but you can take out this light. Now, 110, 700. That opens this door. You know, open the door and then take out this light right here. And now. That card's gonna start walking around. You're gonna ring airfoil him. Now, 
there aren't going to be that many guards left in this level so we're not going to focus too hard on trying to save our ammo now there's a turret right here so yeah don't just go ahead and run that way by the way to disable this turret you walk over to this little laptop over here click deactivate There aren't that many locked doors left, so we can just go ahead and use all our disposable picks. And then go into this elevator and go up. <laughs> but yeah, we almost died back there because of that one guard. And this is on hard difficulty, so yeah, the enemy's bullets do a lot of damage really goes to show how important it is to stay Break hidden. Now I'm going to open this door and then move slowly. Just go behind this white board and then go stay behind this uh, shelf array. Now there's a guy walking around here. But yeah, sometimes you might get seen by this guy, but earlier as we saw, we came around here while he was over looking that way. And this is Doherty. Now once he walks past a little further, we're gonna go inside his office. Turn the light off, use the computer. Turn the light Great back on. How are we doing, Grim? Working on it. Very clever back door. That way we don't attract the attention of the guard in there that ends up coming out here. And yeah, there's a, a guard and a camera. Stay in yeah, speed past these light areas. Going through this door. Now Go down this way and then go through the middle. We're gonna take out this guard. Everyone else here is unarmed, so yeah, they're no threat. Grab him. Take him to this deep corner and then whack. Use a disposable pick, open the door. Now door D is going to be in here. So now you're going to press flat against the wall. Move across like this. And yeah, the, these two guards here have shotguns and they're kind of deadly. Detach from the wall. Move across here. Go into this room. Use the computer. Yeah, and you're gonna want to be as quick as possible b before Mitchell Doherty comes back out. So yeah, zero six one four is the code for this next door. Yeah, their conversation finishes kind of quickly. So yeah, you're gonna wanna make it past them just like this open the door take these two lights out take out this guard No, Mitchell Doherty is gonna come and then he's gonna get over here. To which then you can grab him or knock him out. But yeah, I, I've noticed that it's actually quicker to just knock him out and then carry his body. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna do that. We 
We still have one ring airfoil round and three sticky shockers. And here he comes now. <laughs> Seems he doesn't mind the uh, lights being out. Johnny Wilkes is in position for extraction. He's with Special Agent Baxter, interrogations expert. They've got a disappearance truck parked at the back. So now I'll go out this door. And yeah, it, it was good that we went ahead this far and then took this guard out. To avoid complicating things. It was unfortunate though that one of our ring airfoil rounds was wasted because it missed. There's going to be another sticky shocker inside that next room though, but we can't be too sure whether it'll be enough to take all the remaining enemies out. Open the door, take this body, and then walk down the stairs because we actually want to alert the guy nearby. Well, since we didn't alert them, we could try, let's say, doing this instead. Now, there's, there's a guard and a civilian. Sticky shop the guard, and then yep, and we knocked the civilian. Now this guard came in here. He might see the uh, body. You ready to sticky shock them? Use the medkit if you need it. Since we're already at the practically the end of the level we, we don't need to worry about any alarms anymore so yeah we're not gonna hide these bodies go ahead and take Doherty carry him until you get to that door now there's, there's gonna be about two more guards outside Well, actually three in total, but one of them is really far away. Now, usually there's a guard walking around back and forth on this platform, but earlier when we have alerted the civilian, the guard actually then went in there. So yeah, this is the guard that's too far away. You mean you actually deal with humans sometimes? Apparently, but yeah, awesome. So, uh, what do you do? I don't understand the question. You know, you can listen in on their conversation. I'm clean. I think you're right. Ah. I like barbiturates. There's no such thing. Don't get too close though. But and just sticky shock them. No, if you want maybe sticky shock this other guy too, but it's probably not necessary. Go back up and take Doherty. Now there is actually a shortcut to getting Doherty uh, to that truck. You don't have to go around that way. No, still watch out for that card though, but yeah, 
once you're over here then turn around press E to drop in ah, poor Doherty and now go down the stairs well ladder carry Doherty and take him to Wilkes and Baxter thank god I thought he would never go away this our friend that's the man did Lambert tell you about Sarah? no she's fine blackouts boot her but she's completely alright uh, don't get too emotional let's get out of here thanks Wilkes and that was it for CIA headquarters so next time we're going to be doing a walkthrough of Kalinitech so Fisher, your mission is a man named see ya oh. my god Fisher have you gone insane the mission's